What did you do to get back at your evil boss? My boss threatened to have me deported because I reported her for paying me a dollar an hour, and I was literally born here. Ever since I started working at this company, my boss has made it her personal mission to make my life hell. On my first day, she told me I was going to jump through hoops to prove that a Mexican like me could even work at a place like this. I have no idea why she assumed I was Mexican, and I didn't even get a chance to correct her. She threw a pile of paperwork at me and told me to get to work without any preparation. From that day on, she's made me her personal slave. Sometimes she'd give me a report to finish in the next five minutes, and I wasn't even aware of the topic at all. If I didn't throw something together, she'd yell at me in front of the whole office. She'd say she should fire me because I wasn't meeting company standards. If I did finish it, she'd spend the whole day making fun of any mistake I made. Once, she made me order her a coffee from an hour away. When it arrived cold, she humiliated me in front of everyone. She said I was good for nothing and deserved to be fired. She did this so often it got to a point where I didn't take her threats to heart anymore. I also knew she wouldn't fire me because she liked ordering me around as if I were her personal assistant. She made me cook her lunch, schedule her personal appointments, and even asked for foot rubs. I knew she was testing how far I'd go to obey her. But if I fought back, she'd report me for insubordination. I wasn't sure HR would have my back. I saw their red hats. Once, I almost quit when she canceled my vacation at the last minute. She wanted me to cover for her while she took her own week-long vacation. I couldn't even fight it because she had more power than me. The only reason I didn't quit after that was because I was being paid a lot. I was saving up enough money so that I could start looking for another job, and, start buying into real estate. Right now I was acting like I was just living paycheck to paycheck so that I could be prepared for my future. But out of nowhere my boss took things way too far when payday came and my paycheck was only a dollar. I texted her to ask if that was a mistake, but she said that it wasn't. I honestly thought she was joking because I couldn't believe that she would mess with my money too. I asked her where the rest of my paycheck was. I couldn't believe it when she said she would pay me what she thought I deserved from now on. So, she thought that I only deserved a dollar for all the hard work I had done. I told her that she legally could not do that and I was going to report her if she didn't give me my money. She didn't take my threat well. She told me to watch my attitude and said I should worship the ground she walks on. She gave me a dollar because all of my work was dog poop. She even said that if I needed money so badly I should just go rob someone since that's what you people do. She even said that if I complained to my mom, she'd have my whole family deported. She claimed I must be working with a fake visa because, in her words, Mexicans can't possibly work here. My jaw dropped when I finished reading her rant. I had no idea she would stoop this low and delusional if she thought I was going to worship her. I was honestly fine putting up with the bullying, but I wasn't going to let her play with my money. Luckily, since I had texted her I had proof of this whole situation. So, I contacted a lawyer and told them about the BS I had been dealing with. My lawyer suggested I sue the company for harassment and discrimination. I agreed because without drastic action, they'd ignore my case. A harassment lawsuit would hurt the company's reputation, so I knew they'd take it seriously. And I was right because when I was called in for a meeting, they didn't treat me as if I were in the wrong. Instead they said they were willing to fire my boss and give me 10 times my salary as a settlement bonus if I dropped the case. I knew they were scared to ruin their reputation. It showed even more when they offered to promote me and give me my boss's position. I didn't need any more than that so I agreed to drop the case under those conditions. I personally saw my boss get dismissed and she growled at me when I went to sit down in her office. I thought I wouldn't have to see her again, however a week later my former boss called and texted me a bajillion times. She told me she was trying to get her old job back. They would only rehire her for a starting position if I forgave her in writing. She apologized and begged for my forgiveness, saying she couldn't support herself without the job. She didn't have any more savings and needed a job to pay her rent. I thought about forgiving her, but only because I would be her boss. It would be a chance to get payback for everything she did. But I believe she wasn't sorry for what she did, she was sorry because she was caught. What should I do? Update, I decided to be the bigger person and forgive her on paper because I didn't want her to end up homeless. Though I warned her that the second she stepped out of line I would fire her. And I knew she literally couldn't afford to do that since she had no savings left. I actually felt sorry for her, so I told her she shouldn't have let her money sit in savings. She could have been letting it grow. She asked how, and I explained that I was living paycheck to paycheck because I was investing half of it on an app called Bloom Earn to invest. And because I was doing that I never had to worry about paying rent on time or becoming homeless like her. I was making over $10,000 a year passively. 